Well, they used to be the. That, Louisiana was. Uh, they used to always be the. Uh, oh yeah, New Orleans used to be the. You say Baton Rouge? Savage, that's savage this, savage that. Y'all right, you are savage. The real nigga. Savage means wild, you know what I mean? What is cool, savage? It's cool, man. Yeah. A goon. goon is like that little. You go down in the cellar, that's what a, a goon would be. A goon. <laughs> a goon? You look it up, it was uh, yeah, we, a goon. I've would, been here since I looked it up. A goon? They call each other a fucking goon? I'm gonna I'm call my goons up. A goon is like a, another variation of eagle. With the hump in his back, with the arms hanging, dragging. I guess, I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. There go gonorrhea. Oh, a goon! <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, a goof? He got a goof sound. Goof? Hey, look at that fat dude from Chicago. Oh, here we go. A goon. A thug hired to commit acts of intimidation or violence. A stupid or oafish person. <laughs> a stupid or oafish p uh, a goonie, a uh, fool. That's all it really says. <laughs> a, goonie. Says a, a fool. A fool. A goon. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. It said an oafish person. What the hell is an oaf? Yeah, same thing. A stupid fool. A fool. A fool. That's funny. So what does it say? A sevenfold moon for among sinners, death and bloodshed, strife and the sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge. These things are created for the wicked and for their sake and the blood. Oh, this yeah. time the fire is going to come for their sake. Oh yeah. You're talking about that blood, that's everything to do. That's a piece of the fire I'll be seeing him on YouTube. Look at that guy. Piece of shit. Piece of shit. Oh, you want to do that? Look at that guy. He said he didn't even get it. I like that. What? That's a good one. 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 Look at what they fucked up. Did you, what's that? Seven times more? Seven times more, bro. All right. Which makes this seven represents perfection. Yeah. 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 Same thing. Perfection. Same thing. Same thing. Seven days are the rules. 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 Seven days are Got, what y'all talking, talking about sin? Oh yeah! And you got people who don't believe in the Bible, right? You're like, oh, the Bible's bullshit. But, okay. Why is there seven days in a week? Where did that come from? You know what I mean? It's seven days in a week. The that Bible says it's ready seven days. Seven days. So y'all gotta stop using weeks. You know what I mean? Because you so anti-Bible. A week is seven. That that's proof of six days. Seven days. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Six. Yeah. That's right. Seven represent the Sabbath. Rest. The most high took a rest. Angels, all of us took a rest. That's funny too, because the number seven in Hebrew is Shabbat. That's very deep. That's very deep. Say it again. All right, the point is in 12, I'm going to read 11 too. It says, Ecclesiastes 8 and 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with him, with them that fear God, which fear before him. 
but it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he be prolonged in his days, which are as a, as a, a shadow, because he feareth not before God. Yeah, because these fools out here, they don't fear the most high. Like we're saying, they got their whole life planned out, you know? Yeah, like 401k. They, they actually think, they actually think that 401k is going to be there when they retire. I mean, because all your money, you, like, if you don't, if you, you can't touch your money, you don't own it. It's not yours. Like, in all your money in the bank, if, you, if all your money is in the bank, that's not your money. That's the bank's money. It's in their house, not yours. And, it, and it's not no money even in there. It's just uh, numbers on a computer screen. Uh, I, I think Bush was the office. Everybody went and got the money out of the bank. Oh, I went to the bank, so I get some money. Oh, they did do that. That was back in what? Uh, that was that was that, that was in that 2000, uh, 2007 when that crash happened. What? what the, yeah, oh wait, that's what it was. Yeah, that was that that crash, that big crash. And there there was uh like in the, what was that Merrill Lynch on his bank? There, there was lines around the corner, people trying to get money. Yep. And then and then the government bailed them out. Expense. At our expense, right? <laughs> it's going to be again. It's going to be a bail-in at your expense. They call it too big to fail. It really, I mean, if it was a truly uh, capitalistic society, whatever you call it, they should have just let them fail. That, that, that's unfair. They got an unfair advantage. Government helping them out. Oh, yeah, they ain't going to bail you out. <laughs> Shit, they'll lock you up for not paying your taxes. What's <laughs> coming Yep. <laughs> a lot of these Americans is a heavy debt too. You see these fools driving around in nice cars, they got nice houses, but they don't own that house. The house got a mortgage payment, they got car payments, and really they don't own all this stuff. They just they just uh front, you know what I mean? Check that out, man. Not even a, it's not even a car. Well, Combined is like seven million plus dollars. And that's not even including the 20 trillion that they print the money with that the government done cracked up that 20 trillion. That's something totally different. That's something totally different. And add that on to each other. So we're fucked. We're fucked. So when this shit crash, man, when they come with that shit, man, they're going to live on me. You better get that shit. Which means the sky 
And he's coming out the heavens in them chariots. It's so what they call UFOs. So, and you hear people always say, oh, y'all believe in a magical man in the sky. Y'all believe in the invisible man in the sky. He's not invisible. You gonna see him come out the sky. And he gonna, he gonna, just, and if you ain't right, you gonna get disintegrated. You know, y'all, you worship the magic man in the sky. But you can see the chariots, if you go out late night, look up in the heavens, on a good clear night, you're going to see chariots zipping all through the sky. I'm talking about no magic invisible man in the sky. Y'all going to see him visible. Oh, that, y'all, you, if you, you going to be made invisible. When you get destroyed, you're going to be invisible. You guys can't see you. Then we, then we which are alive or remain shall be caught, caught up together with them in the clouds. All right, that's beat me up, Scotty. Because when the Lord returns to the earth, he's going to destroy America. He's going to bring fire on the earth. Two-thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed. All these heathens are going to be destroyed. And the Lord... Go, the, what's that? Oh, yeah, your wicked grandma going to be destroyed. Children. Uh, your wicked children are going to die. Okay, you know people wife. like all oh, poor children. Man, what's so special about children? Pastors. You know devils were one-time children? <laughs> you know what I mean? Got yeah, him. He, he, he was a child at one time. He was a little devil baby. Yeah, Evelyn Rothschild was a baby once. A little evil little child probably tortured cats. He saw You know what I mean? Queen Elizabeth II. Yeah. Prince Philip. All oh, poor Obama. little children. Hey, uh, what's his name? The one that's married to that other that bitch, man. They keep popping out babies now. George. Uh, uh, Prince William. Yeah, they keep popping out babies now. The Most High said, though they multiply, though it's for the swarm. <laughs> it's for the swarm. To gather with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's right. And that also proves what? That, that uh, you know, the kingdom of heaven is on earth. You know, people think that you only go to heaven when you die. When you die, you go to heaven at the pearly gates. That's all bullshit. Hey, that's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Because the Lord going to actually come to the earth. That's just retarded. If, if you believe in the uh, the pearly the pearly gates is the new Jerusalem. That's the pearly gates. That's gonna be on earth. It, it's gonna be uh, the new Jerusalem. It's gonna have twelve gates with the twelve tribes of Israel written on the gates. That's the pearly gates. It's gonna be on earth, not in the magical fairy tale land up in the clouds. You know what I mean? You gonna take a you know the cartoon? You take an escalator up to heaven. You got an angel at the door with a book. Oh, this is just like Dragon Ball Z when they die and they go to the clouds going up the escalator oh, I to King Kong. What's his name? Or, uh, he behind the desk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny as hell, man. And they can go negotiate with that motherfucker from Dragon Ball Z. It's crazy. You know, that's the world, man. They don't understand the world. They don't understand the scripture. Where was I at? Uh, the goods? Of the unjust shall be dried up like a river and shall vanish with noise, like a great thunder and rain. Woo. While he opens his hand, he shall rejoice, so shall transgressors come to naught. The transgressors are going to come to naught. All this wickedness you see out here is it, going to be put to a rest. Here you go with the kids. The children of the ungodly shall not bring forth many branches, for are as unclean roots upon a hard rock. Yeah, because people always say, oh, poor little innocent children. Man, they're little baby devils. They're going to get put to death. Monsters. They're little monsters. Like when, you got, like, when you got roaches in your house, you, you don't just kill the grown-up roaches. Man, you kill all the roaches. Oh, that's a baby roach. I'm not going to kill that roach. <laughs> yeah, oh, bow. You kill all the roaches. If you want to get rid of the roaches, you got to kill the mama roach, papa roach, and the baby roach. Any means necessary. That's right. Yeah, smoke them out. <laughs> Shit. Yes. But um, but are as unclean roots upon it or rock. The weeds growing upon every water bank of the river shall be pulled up before all grass. 
Hey, it's going to the weeds. Hey, weeds. Oh, I got the perfect skill for that. Damn. Hey, that's the that's the uh, the weed and the tears. That's the weed and the tears. Yeah, yeah. The Lord will liken y'all to them. They're all prickly plants. You know, you got your little irises growing or whatever. Your little pretty flowers. Then you got them prickly plants. You in there like, oh shit. Yeah, you try to pull them up. It's like ah. Yeah, get this shit. And it and the weed. Motherfucker, bro, quick too. You gotta pluck them up. They start spreading. Just like them roaches. You don't take care of that roach problem. Boy, man, them roaches gonna be every damn word. See, roaches in the cereal, you know what I mean? Yeah, roaches. <laughs> I was thinking of some old school jokes. Always yeah. They like them, please, yeah. Fucking bed bugs. Yeah, bed bugs. Hey, we're not one time we got to get on the pants. Woo, that one's coming up. Actually, we go down to the track. Yeah, we're going to have to go Solomon. Look at what Solomon 4 and then 3 it says, With the multiplying broad of the ungodly shall not thrive, nor take deep, nor take deep rooting from bast bastard slips, nor lay any fast foundation. For though they for though they flourish in branches for a time, yet standing not fast, they shall be sh shaken with the wind. And through the force of winds, they shall be rooted out. The imperfect branches shall be broken off. The, uh, the fruit unprofitable, not ripe to eat. Yea, meat for nothing. Meat for nothing. But children got them unlawful beds. But children got them unlawful beds or witnesses of wickedness against their parents and their child. But though the righteous be pre uh, prevented with death, that's that's that's, that's definitely that's because you know how you say the uh, what do they call it a family tree. But the Lord is gonna uh, cut the, uh, the wicked's family tree off because you know it's gonna be uh, what they have, have no fruit. That fruit's gonna be that children and shit. It's that withered branch. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the 